there are still questions about the consequences from this Metro High School football game. Tonight we have video showing the moments that really sparked a lot of backlash. Earlier this season, players from Berlin and Valley High Schools got into it during a game. But at least one of those schools is still questioning its punishment. You see, they both got strikes under the NMAA's new sportsmanship rules. If either of those teams gets another strike, their season is over. Tommy Lopez explains the new development tonight. This video from the Belen High School Eagle shows the incident on September 8th. The Belen players are in the white uniforms. They run over to Valley High's sideline, and there's a confrontation, pushing and shoving. Both teams were upset they got a strike under the New Mexico Activity Association's new two-strike rule. Valley fans feel like Belen started it. One person commented on our Facebook post, the film clearly shows Belen rushing our side. Belen officials feel like Valley is at fault, upset over unsportsmanship like plays, bad blocks like these right before the incident. There were blindside blocks. There's a new development. Belen lost its appeal to the NMAA Wednesday. So we spoke again with school superintendent Lauren Sanchez. He points out it doesn't look like this is a brawl. I saw pushes, I saw chesting, I didn't see punches or that type of thing thrown. He says NMAA officials told him the teams coming together is what makes this quote egregious behavior under the rule. Sanchez says he does appreciate having the chance to express concerns about the punishment. I think we have a better understanding of the process. I think it was a, a very positive meeting with, with the board of directors and, and director Marcus. He hopes his Belen Eagles can have better judgment moving forward. We can learn from this and we don't want that. And Tommy joins us now. And Tommy, on, on top of that, Berlin had to forfeit its next game because of that. They did, and Sanchez says it's because some of their players crossed into the opponent's sideline during that incident. That's a violation of the rules of the National Federation that oversees high school sports. Okay, that makes sense then. We're also seeing video, though, of another confrontation between uh, New Mexico high school football teams. Yeah, Raton and Tucumcari, it was that same night, September 8th. Raton is way up in this game. They're in the white uniforms here. A Tucumcari player is near the end zone as that game ends and time runs out. There's this confrontation. We can see it includes multiple players on both teams. The NMAA did not give out any strikes for that. We reached out to the NMAA to ask why that first incident between Bolin and Valley rises mm -hmm. to the level of a strike. But that clash between Tucum Carey and Raton we just saw does not. Right. We also wanted to ask what video that they're seeing that supports these decisions. We did not get responses today. Yeah, still trying to sort some things out with this being the first year for that new rule, of course. Yeah. Okay, Tommy, thanks.